Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Sky1007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. I got this from Walmart, and it is the Pelonis Tower Heater. So let's take it out. So it is, it is 17 inches tall ceramic tower heater. So it has a thermostat and it's a, it has a cool touch handle. And that's it. So if you're wondering why would you want to get an analog heater instead of a digital one? And the main reason is for me, the main reason is that I live in an area where there's a lot of power outages that last only one or two seconds for some reason. I don't know why. But the problem with digital heaters is that when there's a power outage and the power comes back right away, it comes back and the heater is now turned off because it's a digital heater. But on the analog heaters, if there's a power outage, the heater will turn off. But when the power comes back, the heater will be back to the, its um, on position. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this is it. So let's plug it in. So you have all these settings right here. You have off, low, high, low and oscillation, and high and oscillation. So there's four settings and there's no fan settings. And then you have the thermostat over here. So let's turn it on low. That's good. I like the amount of heat, even on low. It's high. So only the heat setting changes, not the fan speed. Now let's do oscillation. Okay, now oscillation and high. Now let's move the thermostat. So it turns off. So it definitely does produce a lot of heat. Let's look at the back. In the back you can see the fan and everything. Okay, as far as safety, this does have a sensor inside. So if you rattle it, you can hear, you can hear the sensor. So when you turn it on, it turns on. And now let's tip it. It turns off. Turns on. So in any direction, So it will turn off if you tilt it in any of those directions. It has this overheat protection and it has that tip over protection and you can hear that sensor.
You hear that clock, clock, clock. Sounds like something came loose inside, but that's actually a pendulum where when you tilt it, it'll, it'll make a con, it'll make a contact and it'll shut down the device. So it also has the overheat protection. If you put something on top of this, like a, some sort of cover, then internally it's going to overheat. And when it overheats, it shuts down. So I'm not going to test that. That's too dangerous. But rest assured that it does have that overheat protection and that tip over protection. So that's fairly cool. And another thing I want to mention is that it does have that handle right there. And it's fairly lightweight. I'm using one hand. I'm not a strong person, but this is so light that you can easily you can easily move it so it's fairly portable of course wherever you take it you have to plug it in somewhere but this is what I'm talking about this um handle So overall, I think it's a great device. Um, I would give it a four and a half stars out of five. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.